Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspi's 15 box hip parade emerald and optic hybrid football mixer. Random team break number two from jazbeescasebreaks.com. No vet common ship that obviously only applies to the optic hybrid. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Congrats to the people who won their spots in the filler and thanks to the people who bought their spots straight up. Most of you did. All 32 teams are in. Let's roll it and randomize names and teams two and a two for the hard way. One, two, three, and four. We got Barry up top, Joe in the 32 spot. Two and a two for the hard way, two, three, and four. We've got Carolina down to the Niners. Brady, Tom Brady to the Niners rumors seem to be heating up a little bit. Or maybe that's just just speculation from the media. Who knows? Barry, you got the Panthers. Tristan with the Cowboys. Joey with the Colts. Josh with the Ravens. Zach with the Giants. Um, Tristan with the Bills. Skyler with the Steelers. Tristan with the Jags. Texans. Bears. Jacob with the Seahawks. Beverly with the Patriots. Brian with the Vikings. Nancy with the Chiefs. Last ball Mojo. Zach with the Titans. Simon with the Raiders. Kyle Chargers. Chad with the Eagles, Tristan with the Saints, Zachary with the Broncos, Tristan with the Rams, Nicholas with the Cardinals, Tristan with the Lions and Dolphins, Jacob with the Jets, Tristan with the Packers and Buccaneers, Joey with the Browns, Nestor with the Bengals, Tristan with the Commanders and the Falcons, and Joey D with the San Francisco 49ers. Let's alphabetize by team. And we're going to pause the video just for a little bit. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. Looks like Simon has my Raiders up for trade. If anyone, anyone wants to uh, make an offer, we'll be right back. We'll see you on the other side of this trade window. All right, welcome back, everybody. No deals were done in this 15-box football mixer on a Tuesday, the 31st. February already? Man. Big thanks, everybody, for getting into the action here. Appreciate it. And let's start with the optic. We've got a chance at a downtown. Got a little uh, Lakers at Knicks on in the background. My Kings are in Carolina. Let's flip back over to that game really quick. I think that game is still, is that still scoreless? No, Carolina's up one nothing. They're in intermission. All right. Big football news today. Sean Payton and the Broncos have apparently reached a deal. What does it? What does that do for the Broncos? Does Sean Payton get something out of Russell Wilson? through these. We got a rated rookie Elijah Mitchell to 179. Niners, that's for Joey. The Devonta Smith. And these I think these red mojo parallels are exclusive to these hybrid sets. That's gonna go to the Eagles. Chad. For the fly Eagles fly and there's a Jamar Chase rated rookie card for Cincinnati. That'll be for Nestor. Gilo is thinking future Super Bowl losers, Eagles, am I right? Gilo is a Chiefs fan. Yeah, who does everyone have in the Super Bowl? I know it's pretty early. We're still, what, we're still two weeks out. Anyone have any early thoughts on how the Super Bowl is going to play out? Now, for what it's worth, the ESPN matchup predictor has them at 50-50. 
Vegas has the Eagles at minus one and a half with the over under at 49 and a half. Oh yeah, you, you annoy Jason enough for today? You'll have plenty of days to keep annoying him. There's 2 2 at well to 299. But if the Chiefs lose, you may not be able to show your face around here for a little bit. There's Trevor Lawrence. All right, there you go. Yeah, there'll be crickets from Gilo. There's Trey Lance. Uh, the Trevor Lawrence rated rookie card goes to uh, Tristan and the Jaguars. The Trey Lance will go to Joey and the Niners. Been hearing some rumors, maybe rumors or maybe just speculation mostly. Or maybe maybe an analyst's hope that maybe Brady goes to, I think some ESPN analysts had brought this up and now people are running with it as if it's news. But people are saying, hey, maybe Brady should go to the Niners. Brock Purdy's getting Tommy John surgery, essentially. Trey Lance is still working his way back from injury. Jimmy Garoppolo is a free agent. So you're thinking, hey, Brady can go to the Niners, who are just pretty, pretty ready-built. They just need a quarterback. Got a lot of weapons, got a great offense line, great defense. And they'll improve in the draft and free agency, I'm sure. If they get Tom Brady... And Trey Lance and Brock Purdy marinate behind Brady for a season just to learn. It's invaluable, learning from the GOAT. The Brady back home narrative is, is still on. We'll see what happens. Devin McCourty for the Patriots at 299. That'll be for Beverly. Where's Derek Carr gonna end up? So I guess the latest news on Derek Carr, apparently the Raiders have not given Derek Carr permission to speak with other teams. I'm not sure what's. I'm not sure if that's a good strategy or a bad strategy. To be honest with you, I think most people are like, "Hey, get get a trade done." But Derek Carr is a no trade clause, and I don't think Derek Carr is in the mood to in the mood to do the Raiders any favors by waiving that no trade clause. You know, they can, they can just wait until whatever that deadline is. I think February 15th or something like that. Then they can release him without the, uh, without the cap hit. Or as big of a cap hit. But I guess if a team wants to, you know, they don't want to compete with other teams in the open market, I suppose they can give up. You can give up assets for Derek Carr and kind of force that. I don't know. That'll be something to look to keep an eye on in the next couple of weeks. There's Mark Andrew for the Ravens. Josh with the Purple Birds. Yeah, Sean Payton to the Broncos. And that, that AFC West is really starting to to stack up with with coaching talent, with player talent. There's a Jalen Waddle red to uh, going to Tristan in Miami. No, Sean Payton doesn't have to rebuild too much in Denver. You know they've got they've they've been banged up a little bit. I think they, but I think they should have their receiving core pretty healthy when they come back. Russell Wilson, I mean. It, did he regress? 
or was it because of coaching? Maybe a little bit of both. So we'll see what happened there. Yeah, Gilo thinks it's maybe it was just all coaching mentality thing over there that just didn't didn't work out. I think there were some rumblings that people weren't really happy, the teammates weren't happy with Russell Wilson either. So there may be a little bit of that too. But maybe having Sean Payton there, I think, uh, gives everybody a, a, a fresh start. King score. Got a Josh Palmer. Speckle to 125. Kyle with the Chargers. Another hybrid box. I mean, so pressure on the entire AFC West to, you know, to keep. It's an, it's an arms race in the AFC West. Can the Raiders afford to, to have all this money tied up in Devontae Adams and Hunter Renfro and Darren Waller and probably Josh Jacobs and then afford to go rookie quarterback and kind of start over from there. You might have to make a serious QB move. If they want to be, I mean, and, and they're still, even with like, I don't know, Aaron Rodgers, they're still gonna need a lot of help on defense. They gotta do, still gotta do a lot of things. You know, as long as Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes are around, that's gonna be you know, that's, that team is always going to be front-running. Chargers still have Justin Herbert. Not convinced about the head coach, but there's Travis Kelsey at 299. But as long as they got Justin Herbert out there, that's, they're going to be a problem. There's the rookies, Justin Fields, and a Devonta Smith rated rookie card. Nancy thinks Aaron Rodgers needs a little mental help. Maybe he does. What does he want? I don't know. We, we don't know what Aaron Rodgers wants. A little wishy-washy. Cry baby. Still, he can still spin that football pretty well, though. I think teams will be willing to to take to take on the baggage. All right. Next box. What are they gonna do in New York? Zach Willis still the guy. There's Rashawn Slater to 125 for the Bolts. There's a Trevor Lawrence rated rookie card for Tristan and the Jaguars. Got three more left and then we get start getting into the good stuff. Or the real good stuff. This is some good stuff here, but the real good stuff. A Hit Parade Football Emerald Edition. Good luck. 
No, any, anyone have any early thoughts on the uh, on the Super Bowl? Is everyone too scared to to comment in the chat? Who wins? Eagles are minus one and a half. That line's been going going moving all around. We'll probably move some more this week as well. I'm leading Eagles. You guys see how all that injury stuff, injury report stuff comes out for the Chiefs, but maybe that's what everyone else is waiting for too. Nancy saying Eagles. Where are the where are the Chiefs fans? Yeah, Gabe is our is our resident. Gilo is our resident Chiefs representative. But any other Chiefs fans coming out of the woodwork here? We want the funk. Gotta have that funk. There's Jake Funk going to Tristan and the Rams. And from downtown, Josh Allen. Nice Josh Allen downtown. Buffalo, Tristan with the Bills. Nice. There you go, Tristan. That's the kind of stuff we're looking for in this hybrid. All right, two more of these boxes and then into the hit parade. Andrew. Saying Eagles for sure. Can't see gonna make too many mistakes. Eddie, on the other hand, says, hey, give me the coach, the QB edge, and the experience, Chiefs. I this has got to be a good game, right? Even if you're just a neutral fan. This has got to be a competitive game. I don't think it's going to be a blowout on on either side. Elijah Vera Tucker, lime green to 35 for the Jets. That'll be for Jacob. Is that Joe Burrow number? Well, I thought that was going to be a different parallel, but it's not. And a Josh Palmer autograph, 24 out of 75. Yeah. The rare hybrid auto. Not like Hobby, doesn't have an autograph for box. That's on card too. Josh Palmer autograph going to Kyle and the Chargers. Hey, see you, Jonah. Have a good one, man. All right, one more hybrid box to go. Yeah, isn't that crazy, Gilo? Mahomes' third Super Bowl appearance already. That is nuts. I mean, I mean, I don't know if anyone's gonna catch Brady in terms of Super Bowls, right? But if there's anyone who can. I think it might be, might be, might be Mahomes. Yeah, Eddie's thinking if Hertz gets behind early, they're going to be in trouble. And Marcus Davenport, orange to 199. That's 
for the Saints. That's going to go to Tristan. All right, that's that for the hybrid. Now, let's see what we got. Hit Parade Football Emerald Edition. Chief secondary does match up well. I don't think Eagles have faced a good offense in a long time. Might be a shootout. The television network wants to see a shootout. All right, good luck, everybody. Final five. We got a graded card. It's a cat team. It's a Joe Burrow autograph from 2021 Obsidian. Mint nine, auto 10, Joe Burrow. 23 out of 25. Cincinnati, we're on to Cincinnati. Nestor and the Bengals. Nice. This emerald stuff is nice, boys and girls. Another graded card, this time a Beckett slab. We got a 9510. I don't see the team on the back. 9510. Oh, I see the team on the front. Devontae Adams from Old Museum Collection football. Nice. From 2014 Topps Museum Collection. Signature swatches. Dual relic autographs. Centering. Surface a 9-5. Edges a 10. Corners a 9. Devontae's auto a 10. Nice. 2014, that's his, is that his rookie year? Doesn't have the RC logo on it. Or was he the year before? No, he was drafted in 2014. Nice, Green Bay. Tristan with the Packers. Yeah, Simon saying, yeah, that's... It's a rookie edition. Nice. Now, nothing significant Chiefs-wise yet, Nancy. We still have three of these boxes to go. All it takes is one for a break like this, for a product like this. Got another graded. No auto. Ooh, it's a 10. And it's Christian McCaffrey, rookie Christian McCaffrey, rookie refractor from Prism, pristine 10. 10's all around except for the centering, 9.5, but edges, corners, surface, just half a point from a, uh, from a black label, but very nice. Carolina, Barry Roberts with Carolina. Nice. Two more to go. Drew Brees College Edition, 4 out of 25, Immaculate Ink. It's got the Saints, Tristan with the Saints. Nice, Drew Brees. And... The final one. Good luck, everybody. Appreciate everyone getting in. And it's going to be non-graded. It's going to be Dak Prescott. Three-color patch autograph. 
from Phoenix football. 90 out of 99 from 2016 Phoenix football. That's rookie Dak Prescott. And that will be for Tristan and Dallas. There you go, gang. Very nice break in the books. Nice hit parade optic football mixer. Um, this is also part of the promo tonight as well. A lot of good stuff here. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I will see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.